says, is it halal that a man puts a condition to a lady he proposed to, to get married? A condition like having villa or job or living in a certain country or making certain amount of money or else no marriage? No, of course, this is not permissible nor logical. The conditions are usually set by the woman. And as a consequence, if the conditions were not fulfilled, this gives her the right for divorce. So now my wife doesn't like me. She goes to the judge and she, she says, I don't like him. The judge says, tough bananas. What do you want me to do for you? She says, give me a divorce. Says, no, he's the only one who can divorce. You want to bail out? Give him back his dowry. She gives me my dowry, she gets a divorce. If a woman made a condition, so she made a condition in the contract, marriage contract, and it's written down that her husband has no right to take her out of her city. They got married in Mecca. Five years later, the, the man said, listen, I would like to relocate and live in Medina. She said, sorry, I told you in the contract that you have no right in relocating me and you agreed. He said, well, I'm going either way. In this case, she has a full right to go to the judge, show him the contract, and then the judge gives her divorce because the man did not fulfill his condition. A man does not have the right to put conditions simply because he has the right to divorce. So to assume that a man comes and puts a condition that his wife uh, um, gives him a villa or uh, provides him with a job or to live in a certain country or to make a certain amount of money, a man doesn't have the right to put such conditions because this is like demanding dowry. And this is unfortunately found in some areas and parts of India, Pakistan and Bangladesh, where the men who propose to a family demand alongside with their own family that the girl's family provide gifts to the groom. And such a person can't be a groom. He's a broom with a B because he wipes the floors and cleans the, the wallet of the girl's father from money. I've seen people ha having the audacity to come and say to the girl's family, yeah, yeah, we want a Corolla, Toyota Corolla 2020, the color red for our son. And you have to furnish the house and bring the appliances, the refrigerators, the air conditioning, the bedrooms, the furniture, the whole nine yards. You do all of this. And the man pays the dowry of maybe like a hundred rupees or a thousand rupees. What is this? And they people come and, and complain to me and say that this is unfortunately prevailing in some areas of the subcontinent. And I tell you that this is shocking. This is a Hindu practice. And any Muslim accepting this has characteristics of Hindus. No man would allow his wife to put a penny in the house or to give him a car or to demand from her father to find him a job. He's not a man. He is a male like any other animal to segregate genders from one another. But he's not a man. A man is taking responsibility and being a real man, providing for your wife, as Allah Azza mentions in the Quran, 
الرجال قوامون على النساء بما فضل الله بعضهم بعضهم على بعض وبما انفقوا من اموالهم men are protectors and guardians over women because of what Allah has favored them over women and because of what they had spent from their own money from their own wealth so to defy this and to demand the women to pay for you shame shame on you